In this video we're going to talk about moving averages uh, as a forecasting technique. So this is one of our simpler techniques and so I'm going to go back over here to our data and just let you see what we're looking at. Um, the whole point of a moving average is if we have demands that are occurring over time we need to make a decision on how to predict what's going to happen in month four. And that's the whole point of forecasting. Um, what is going to happen right here in month four and we have to decide how we're gonna how we're gonna decide what's going on a one month moving average for month four says just take what happened in the previous month so a one month moving average says what happened in month three so that we can figure out what's going on in month four so the answer for a one month moving average is 15 we also refer to this as a naive forecast because a naive forecast really is just saying we expect to happen this month what happened last month. All right, so that's all there is to a, a one month moving average. If I want to do a two month moving average, I take the two previous months. So again, I'm trying to forecast for month four. I just want the average of 14 and 15. Well, the average of that, as we can see pretty quickly, is just 14.5. All right, three months moving average easy for us to get to. We're just going to take the average of the last three months equals average these three months and there it is. So there's the three month moving average. Three different ways right here, three different ways for us to predict what's going to happen in month four. All right, That's what's going on with this moving average. Now the reason that we refer to it as a moving average is because eventually month five is going to happen and whenever month five happens then we're going to really know what happened here in this month right so we'll actually have the real data there and at that point the average is going to actually physically shift over the next month so the one month moving average for month five really is what happened in month four the two month moving average from month five really is what happened in month three and four and the same thing for our three month moving average. So you can just kind of see what's happening is we were just taking and looking at what happened in the previous month. It's moving because as time keeps going on to the right here, we're just going back and looking back one month, two month or three months previous. Uh, some companies may use a six month moving average or a uh, one year moving average. but you get the idea. That's what's going on here and hopefully moving averages make sense to you now.